All right, what's going on everybody? I'm Blitz5 and hope you guys are doing well. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about bots in PUBG. And in the background here, we have a fun match of me just flying around in the glider on Miramar. This is a very chill game, uh, but this video is not about the gameplay, it's about the bots. And I know this is a topic that has been talked about a lot in PUBG, especially since it was implemented back in 2020 is when they put in the bots. I'm pretty sure it was around update 7.2. And it's something that I feel like is worth bringing back up again with PUBG going free to play and a lot of new players being in the game. And also, I feel like I've come to a new conclusion about the bots that I definitely want to share with you guys and also kind of have an open discussion because I feel like this definitely impacts the future of the game a lot. Uh, you know, if there's a lot of bots in the game. Some players really hate the bots. Some players don't mind the bots. There's now different matches that you can play in. There's 10 lifetime matches you can play against only bots. But once you finish those 10, it's over. There's the casual matches. And obviously, the queues are a problem in PUBG. There's so many aspects to this. And this recently got brought up in a conversation. I was able to play some games. And we did a co-stream with fellow uh, PUBG partner, content creator, and streamer, C-Dome. And I have to say that I think he actually changed my mind on my opinion of the bots. And it was kind of over this discussion of what do you do when there's not a lot of players? Uh, do you fill it with bots? Do you leave it empty with not enough human players? And, and what does that look like in the game? And I put out an interesting poll question on Twitter that had so many responses. So if you guys are interested in this, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this video and talk about it. If not, hopefully I'll catch you in another video. Uh, so the discussion really started around, are bots good in PUBG and are they bad? And obviously bots are bad. Nobody wants to play against bots in a game unless it's for some light training. I think everybody can agree that having bots in a training mode is great. I feel like nobody's really contesting that. Having bots available for people to use is awesome. The issue comes into play is when there's not enough players in the game or if bots are forced into the game. So unfortunately, when PUBG implemented the bots for new players out there, they did force the bots into the game. There was a requirement at some point where there had to be like 10 or 15 bots in each game. And that was really frustrating. It was a disappointment to see bots in your game as a veteran player or during peak hours when you knew that there were plenty of people online, but for some reason, PUBG was forcing bots into the game. And this is partially or mostly because PUBG did a bad job of implementing the bots. The bots really weren't ready yet. They were really bad. They're still not great, but they're much better than they were when they were first implemented. So really, it doesn't help here. If you go back to the beginning in update 7.2, I think it was like spring, summer 2020, uh, that PUBG implemented the bots very, very poorly. Uh, but fast forward to now, that's no longer the case. So the bots are still not great, but if you're playing during peak hours, say at nighttime in North America, uh, you shouldn't, at least on console, you won't get many bots in your lobby. There's plenty of people playing, that's fine. When I play, I rarely see bots, unless you're a new player. So part of the strategy that I think PUBG took from mobile as well, PUBG Mobile did this. When you're a new player, you play against mostly bots. And then as you level up, you start to play against more and more humans. And then if you reach a certain skill level, a certain level, then all of the bots basically go away. Again, if you're playing during a time when there's enough players. And at first, I thought this was really lame. I think it's kind of manipulating a little bit to the new player to have them play against bots. There's all, always people who play on mobile and go, oh, wow, I got 20 kills and this game is so easy. And it keeps them playing the game, which is what the developers want. Uh, but then once they play against the full lobby, they might only get you know a few kills or maybe they don't get any kills, then it's a lot harder to win the game. But at a certain point, again, I think this is an uncontested uh, subject here, or point of the uh, conversation, is that we want more players to stick around in the game. And it's really hard to stick around in the game when you're going up against veteran players. There's always this argument that, you know, we had to learn there was no bots for us beginning players. Uh, but most of us, if you've been playing for a long time, we learn together. Uh, so the average skill level was a lot lower when everybody was playing PUBG a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Really, every day that passes, the average skill level of the game kind of goes up because more and more people that are playing, they're getting better and better at the game. So I really feel like the bots at first were a great way to have people kind of get introduced to the game. Maybe they can kill a bot or two, and then after that, they're going to run into real players. So that was kind of my take at first. Uh, and this stemmed into a question from c -Dome. We went back and forth because a lot of PC players, including c -Dome, really dislike the bots. He says that they ruin the Battle Royale experience, which I agree with. It's not fun when you kill a bot. Uh, it's not great. 
But this led to a question about if you were playing in a time that is off peak hours, say you're playing in the morning, a lot of people are at work, or you're playing in a queue that's less popular. Usually uh, duos is the least populated queue, at least on console. Uh, so say you're playing FPP duos in the morning. There's not a lot of people on that queue. If there's only 40 humans in that queue, do you want it to start with 40 humans only? And you're playing on this giant map and you got to wait all this time. You're not going to run into any enemies. Or would you rather have that match fill with 60 bots? So when you're landing on the plane, you have 100 players and it can at least feel more like a regular match. And for me at this time, going into this argument, I really felt like I would rather see 100 players. That's my opinion. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into a second. And C Dome adamantly responded that he doesn't, he would rather see just the 40 players. And again, that bots completely ruin the game and that bots should just be in their own separate mode. And after talking about this a little bit longer, I, I agree with him now. And But I think that that would have to happen. The only way this could happen is if PUBG implemented some kind of dynamic zone. So PUBG already has some dynamic zones on certain maps. I think on Sanok, there's dynamic zones. And what does that mean? Well, basically, if there's less people in the game or a lot of people have died off the bat, that some of the zones will actually speed up and go a little bit faster. So what could dynamic zones mean, though, is, for example, dynamic zones could be even more than that and be to the point where if you're in a lobby with only 40 people, that half of the map is closed off, right? Or say, you know, 60% of the map is closed off to account for the fact that there's 60 missing players in the game. And if that was the case and the circles circles were sped up, say you get Miramar and you can only land on the top side of the map, it's a lot smaller, there's 40 players, then it would still, still kind of feel like an interesting Battle Royale experience and kind of match an experience that you might get on Paramo or another map where there's not even a hundred players. So for example, if you play on Paramo, it's a lot smaller of a map and you only start with 64 players or on Karakin. So I feel like that experience would actually kind of line up with the other players. So if that queue is dead, quote unquote, meaning there's not enough players that you could actually go into Miramar or Erangal with half the map available to land in and it would kind of make it like that experience. So once c -Dome brought up that point, I was completely sold that I would I think I would rather play that game with no bots and shortened circles, faster match, than play with bots. And this gets back into the fact now that there are matches that are available for players where they can play against the bots. Uh, but if you remember in the beginning, I mentioned that the 10 matches that you can play against all bots, that's 10 matches lifetime, then you can't play anymore. And one of the issues here and why there's a cap on three casual matches, which if you're not familiar with casual matches, the casual matches have a cap of 12 human players and a total of uh, 88 bots. So, or I think it's at least 88 bots. And if there's less human players, then the bots will fill. So yeah, it's a total of 12 human players. The rest will be bots. Um, that's capped at three matches a day because PUBG doesn't want to hurt the other queues and have players just sitting in bot lobbies uh, the whole time, right? And not going into the regular game playing solos, duos, or squads. But really... C Dome and a lot of people have a point that if people want to play against bots, they're going to play against the bots. A lot of times I know people that after they play their three casual games, they get off and some people are going to leave the game either way, right? If they can't, uh, or some people are, are just never going to play the regular mode. If they can't play the bots or they can't get good enough, they're just going to leave the game anyway. So it's almost better to have them just, if they only want to play bots, I, well, I, let me say it like this. We don't think, or I don't think, and I see didn't think that many players are really going to sit, stay in the bot lobbies forever, right? It would be kind of hard to imagine somebody only playing against bots for the rest of their time. But if they did, it would be okay because they would leave the game anyway. Uh, so I feel like that's a pretty interesting conclusion. And I think you could solve the bot issue. And I agree with Cedome now uh, by putting in some kind of dynamic zone if there's not enough players and then letting people have unlimited access to bot games. Your stats just don't count if you want to practice and play against the bots. And I know there's so many people that come into my stream and ask me so many questions about the bot limits, why that's the case, and that the bots have helped them and their friends learn how to play the game. And for a lot of players, including myself, I've been trying to learn the game on PC, so I'm kind of a new player. It's not really fun playing against the bots. A couple times you play, you go, okay, this is fun. I got a lot of kills. Uh, but after getting a free 20-kill chicken dinner, 
it's not really satisfying playing against the bots when there's really no threat. They can't drive around. They don't act like humans. Uh, so when it's very easy to kill them, you could run around with a pistol the whole time. It's really not a satisfying experience. So I think when you really weigh this all down and come to a final conclusion, it is that PUBG is better without bots and it really does water down the experience. And I put this uh, tweet out on Twitter or this poll and Here's what I wrote. So I said, PUBG players, would you rather play in a lobby of 100 players, 50 humans and 50 bots, or a lobby of 50 human players and have dynamic zones? And 82% of people voted that they would rather play with just 50 humans. And this is probably my most popular poll on Twitter ever with almost 1,500 votes. Uh, so that's a lot. I've only 1,000 followers on Twitter. So this reached a lot of people. A lot of people voted. A lot of people obviously feel strongly about the bots. And I know that Twitter is going to be a more hardcore player base because people that are on Twitter talking about PUBG are most likely going to be hardcore players, streamers, or people that really follow the game. Um, but after weighing in on this, I really feel like this might be the answer. The only last kind of uh, thing I'm hesitant about is what I mentioned in the beginning of the video that having some bots in your game is a nice way to bridge the gap. And that's where another streamer, a friend of mine, Gaming Nacho, mentioned the same point that I brought up that when you're transitioning, from playing against bots as a new player, like me and Nacho, we're console players, we're trying to learn on PC, you play a couple bot matches and you go, okay, I got this down, that was easy, I got 20 kills and the win. But then when you go into a regular match, you're immediately tossed in against really good players. And what I mentioned earlier was that, you know, having 10 bots in a lobby is kind of nice because you might be able to get one free kill, kind of get warmed up and then keep going. Um, but at the end of the day, is that beneficial enough to help new players. Not really sure if it really is. Does it hurt the game more than it helps the game? A lot of players hate the bots. If you look at most streamers and people that influence the game, Chaco Taco, um, you know, Wacky Jackie, a lot of these guys, I feel like I've read tweets. And I, I definitely just read one from Chaco Taco that they hate the bots. And I know these guys, again, are almost like pro level players in terms of their abilities and stuff like that. So it's really not fair to compare them. Um, but, you know, they do influence the game a lot, and most people definitely do not like the bots. And even when you see players going to play other games like Super People and Warzone and stuff like that, it seems like uh, bots are really not a topic like they are in PUBG. So I definitely want to hear where you guys lie on this. And again, I think I've changed my mind, and I feel like bots should be eliminated in the game now, now that we have these casual and bot matches. And I feel like, personally, if I could you know, at least do a test run, it would be interested to see if you took bots out and made it where you could play unlimited bot matches, you know, how many people would actually sit in there playing bot matches only. I feel like it would be worth it to test that out. And I feel like the dynamic zones, while I wouldn't want PUBG to be that all the time, I wouldn't want to only play on one section of Erangel or Miramar going forward because I love how big the maps are. Um, it could be an interesting solution for times or regions like South America, like Australia, uh, where the game doesn't have enough players. And you have to think about that. PUBG is a worldwide game. It's not just North America. It's not just Asia or Europe. It's everywhere. And some regions are still struggling even after free to play. Uh, so definitely want to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that Glider C4 and uh, crazy kind of ending to this match, even though there wasn't a lot of kills. It was a very silly one. I spent most of the time in the Glider. Uh, so as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5, and peace out.